everyone. Today I am going to tell you the story of Chernamo Stilton, the golden statue plot. It's the story of how some mice use their brains to drive away some cats from their city. Those cats wanted gold, but they had to run away. Once upon a time, there lived a rat called Jernimo Stilton. He lived with his nephew Benjamin and his niece Bugsy Bugsy, and their their home was called Mouse Island. And opposite to them were their was their greatest enemy's home, the cats. The little, the island's name was Cat Island, and they needed gold because they didn't have much money to pay their electricity. And then one scientist called Doctor Regina Redfer had suggested that they steal the precious mousey liberty from the mice. What a catastrophe! The mousey liberty was just yellow, not made of gold, and it was the mice's greatest possession. So they decided to stop the cats. They made a secret plan, but for now the cats kept coming, and then they decided that they would tie the huge liberty, fire it down with cannons, and take it back to Cat Island. So then, Kitty and Scout, who are fans of Jeremy Mostyn's great books, cut the ropes. Help! The ropes are cut. Said Bonzo, who was a cat who was on board with Catalan the king. What? Just fire it down then. Oh yes, I remember that he has spare ropes. Kitty and Scout begged that they they not leave Mousy Liberty, but Catalan did not listen. So. When the cannons were ready to fire, they clapped their hands on their ears, ready for the boom which they expected. But all came out was just one. Pfft. What is the meaning of this? Catalan roared. The sailor said that the ca- cannon balls had disappeared. Kitty and Scout had threw them into the ocean. Meanwhile, Jeremy Stilton arrived at the top of the tower, turned on a megaphone, and said, "You, hello, we have a surprise for you." He said with a smile. Little did he know that the surprise was fleas. Yes, fleas. Another of the cat's enemy. The fleas came, stinging the cats. Meanwhile, Kiki, Kitty, and Scout cut. The ropes again, but they knew that they were also cats, and they had to help the other cats on board the ship, which was used to steal Mousy Liberty. So then, they asked Regina and Redford to chase them away. Now, Regina, he said, "You have you told me that you have been making an anti-flea shower. Now make that thing come alive, work, or we'll all be jumping into the sea." He said with fury. When Doctor Redfer she quickly turned it on, but she wasn't sure. At first, nothing happened. When poof, gusts of disinfectant water rained upon the fleas, and the fleas sped a hasty retreat. But they had to go back to Cat Island. Jenny Mostrilton was sad to see them. Going away with such sad faces, so he said, "King Catterdon, it's just our statue is just yellow, not gold. It's yellow, like our favorite food, cheese." So then Catterdon threw a fit, and he was so angry with everyone. But by the time they were back at Cat Island, the fit was diverted back to him. By his mother, son, you better turn on the electricity now, right now. It's been weeks since Tabitha the maid has able to be wash my fur. She said angrily. 
She had got all her words mixed up, for in such a rage she was. But, but, Duffer looks amusing, says Cat Catelyn. Amusing my poor, said Catelyn's mother. She dragged him to an electricity generator of of a bicycle and forced him to pedal it late unto the night. Jenny Muskeeton received a photo of King Catelyn pedaling it from Catelyn's mother. And so happy at this, he sent a letter to Kiki, Kitty and Scout saying that he was grateful for they had helped him save his precious mousy liberty. I hope you enjoyed this story. Thank you.